This segment brought to you by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Oh, I'm so excited to have you visiting today um, because it shows what we're doing in our classroom and how we're extending um, the science into our agricultural network here that we have around us in Goddard. And we're just so excited to be doing I've been wanting to do this lab for seven years, but we just didn't have the financial resources. And then I spoke at the annual meeting of Ag, Kansas Ag in the Classroom Foundation, and I mentioned that too bad we can't do this because we just don't have the glassware and it's quite expensive. A gentleman right out of the audience came up, gave me his card, uh, Jeffrey um, from uh, ICM, and he came up and said, would $500 help you get started? And they don't, he donated $500, and then Kansas Corn uh, caught a hold of it, the Kansas Corn Commission. They came up with an, an, some additional funding, and Kansas Renew uh, finished off the top so we could have six complete distillation sets. That way I have three sets per class, and it's just not kids observing something. It's them doing hands-on application to the distillation process of uh, the corn and milo into ethanol gasoline. Okay, my name is Sarah Vanderhoff and I'm a junior at Eisenhower High School and this year we got the opportunity to go to Pratt Ethanol Plant. I actually got to see like how big the process actually is and what they use and they have to put it in like these giant tin cans. Some of them were like 150,000 gallons full of I don't know, like corn mash and stuff like that. And then we are able to go to a lab and see actually how the process works in such a smaller scale and then them testing it. And that's kind of what we did back here is like the lab work and stuff like that. My name's Marcus. Uh, I'd probably say the coolest part would be the chemist part because at the point we learned that there's like two major like categories and everything. And one was chemists and the other was like the actual like workers that would go outside and make it. And on this one I got to be the chemist with my friend and everything and it was pretty fun. We had to mix a bunch of stuff and it got a little confusing but our teacher helped us out and everything. So We were provided with this equipment and it was just a fun opportunity thing to do. We do have some data that we have to fill out and that's probably how it's going to be graded and see if we have the correct numbers and calculations. So we'd have to let it boil and then once it started boiling we had to make sure that it wouldn't rise to where it would go out the wrong flask part. And then we had a funnel and a little tube where we would pour water down the tube so it would keep it cool so it would turn into a liquid back again after it evaporated into a gas so it would go back into a liquid form and that's how we got the ethanol from it. I mean I personally want to be an engineer and I just never thought that there'd be a job thing out there that you could be an engineer to work on ethanol, gas, and everything else. The job opportunities are uh, boundless in agriculture, and I try to educate my students in that because they're not, all they think of is the farmer behind the wheel of a tractor. They don't think of the individuals that supply the farmer with all their feed stock or the uh, materials that they need to grow their crops, all the chemists, biologists, all of the uh, agricultural uh, support personnel at our uh, wildlife parks and, and our soil commission and all those individuals, the geologists, the, the watershed people. Uh, so we go over, every time we have a unit, we go over every single job that can be possibly created uh, from that industry and that application of the information. And um, I always put agricultural ties to it because after all, we're an agricultural state. Grain sorghum is one of the most important cereal crops worldwide, and Kansas leads the nation in its production. Over the years, sorghum has been either exported, used in animal feed domestically, or for other industrial uses. Recently, its use in the ethanol market has seen tremendous growth, with 30% of domestic sorghum typically going to ethanol production. Kansas Grain Sorghum is committed to sorghum research, market development, and education. Learn more at ksgrainsorghum.org. 